Hi there. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Anjali and that is my dog Sadie. And together we are roaming the UK in our 1992 camper van, Jezebel. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yay. Today we are in Grantham doing a navigation skills uh day workshop hike type thing with the um yes tribe of the east midlands so say yes more is a uh sort of regional um group throughout the uk a free group there's no memberships or anything that you that you can join uh, for your region uh, that hosts uh, various outings climbing sessions hiking sessions paddle boarding uh, all sorts of things like that so I, i'm part of the east midlands one because that's where i live but there are ones all over the country and it's a big collective of people who are interested in, in being more adventurous and, and saying yes more to uh, to cool things that you can do so I joined them after Van Life Festival when someone I did a shift with uh, told me about the group and uh, I've done a couple of things. I've done some um, swimming, um, wild swimming with them. I've done some hikes and now we're doing a orienteering sort of navigational skills um, thing. So I'm just in a car park waiting for everyone else to turn up. I am here a little bit earlier than everyone else. But... Um, and I'm hoping I'm allowed to park here. It's got parking spaces, but I don't know. There's one that says only for a particular house, but hopefully I'm in the right place and I'm parked in the right place. Um, but yes, today is a walk through Grantham. Um, Harlaxton is actually the village we're on. Um, and I'll pop a little OS map of the route that we're taking. So we're going to be doing some orienteering things working out how to use maps and compasses and and things like that you know if anyone knows me you know that i get lost a lot <laughs> uh, so yeah i thought this would be one quite fun to do some stuff with other people and two to sort of hone those skills a little bit so um, i'm hoping i'll be able to get video it's very very wet today um i've got uh, brand new very waterproof trousers on and uh, I'm gonna have to put my phone in like a waterproof case uh, but yeah hopefully I'll be able to get some video and some shots of where we're going and what we're doing and where we're walking to and uh, a bit more information about uh, the sort of the not really a course because it's run by volunteers and, and no one is trained in such things but we're all sort of learning together but yeah hopefully uh It'll be a good video. Uh, do remember to like, comment and subscribe. Um, always look forward to, to seeing new subscriptions and reading your comments and, and talking with you. So please do uh, remember to do that if you haven't done so already. And, you know, subscribe and cost you nothing. It's completely free and it gives me a smile. So, uh, yes, do do that. And without further ado, I'm going to get all of my waterproofs on and get Sadie's water uh, raincoat on. And we're going to go and meet everyone else. So, see you in a bit. So I thought I would uh, get some more drone shots in. I'm actually really enjoying this uh, Hover X1. Um, it's just a lot of fun to use and frees up uh, my hands for some of these longer shots. Um, it was especially useful sort of walking along with everyone. I could talk to people. I didn't feel rude because I just had my camera out and my phone out. Um, yeah, it was good fun and everyone enjoyed the novelty of, of my drone following us along this uh, very muddy path. Uh, it was good fun. So we are now on a uh, public footpath through a field. We're about to cross a main road, which is probably here behind me. So far, we have learned how to use a compass properly and uh, also uh, collecting 
uh, zones and catching zones and how to make sure that we are checking that we're going in the right direction based on the information that is on our maps. Um, so yeah, it's taking us through this field here behind me and then we're going to cut through there's a little kissing gate um, which we will then uh, head off over the main road uh, towards a forested area. So we are coming up to the uh, reservoir that we've been heading towards. Uh, I do like a good walk around the water. Uh, it says no swimming, but there's a few wild swimmers here, so it's kind of tempting to go. But no, no swimming, no dogs, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, we're heading up to uh, a lovely loop of the reservoir. It's not a bit as rainy as we thought it was going to be. Uh, we were you know we're all prepared for extremely wet weather and it's merely a drizzle now i've jinxed it and it'll probably tip down by the next video The river is very full, still feeling the effects of uh, Storm Babette and the other storm, which wasn't really a storm up here, really. But a lot of water, very overflowing rivers, some very muddy ground. was that were needed to feed the canal both of which are on the uh, beaver estate and the job of building them along with the cutting was the responsibility of William King the agent for the Duke of Rutland in 1797 it's a lovely spot with nice views across the water and lots of wildlife to look out for bird watchers come to the site to see the coot moorhen mallard heron great crested grebe and kingfishers. It's also a popular spot for fishing and there were quite a few people hiding under the protection of their fishing tents against today's rain. We're almost at the end of the walk. Uh, we're just on the main road, we're gonna find the last footpath towards the church, and uh, then we'll be back at our vans, and then we're gonna to head to a pub for some food. It did rain a lot, <laughs> as you can see, uh, but it's calmed down again now.
Harlaxton Church is dedicated to St Mary and St Peter and is a Grade 1 listed building. It is of ironstone and limestone ashlar in the perpendicular style, with parts dating from the 12th century. The church has an early 14th century buttress tower and a font dating from around 1400. Okay, so we're back at the van, uh, finished the walk, obviously, um, got changed into some drier clothes uh, and we're heading off uh, to a local pub and uh, we're going to park up there and have a drink, hot drink and maybe a little bit of some lunch. Uh, but yeah, all in all, good walk. It did rain, as you can see by the fact that my hair is wet and I've had to change clothes, uh, but not as bad as we thought it was going to be. So it, the weather forecast said that it was just going to be like torrential rain like all day and uh it hasn't been so that's good just a, you know just a dribbling just a constant dribble um but nothing too bad i almost i did almost lose my foot uh, in some very squelchy mud and he did go you know plant face plant face first into it but luckily because i was on the hike with other people they grabbed me and saved me <laughs> so very much appreciated for that sadie is uh wrapped up in her blanket and her towel um drying off so i've got a dry her off and demodify her before we go into the pub for something to eat uh, but yeah an enjoyable walk uh, it's very strange to go on hikes with other people uh, I'm normally used to just doing it on my own and going at my own pace um, and talking to myself it was weird to talk to other people um, but lovely lovely weird not not terrible weird um, so yeah I definitely want to do more hikes with other people yeah I did feel a bit awkward like stopping and then talking to the camera and um, stuff like that um, but that's just me being awkward um I, no one actually cared that i was doing those things i just felt like they were and i just realized i'm not wearing my glasses and so i'm sort of squinting at the screen uh, but they are very wet i need to dry them uh, <laughs> but yes lovely walk and now we're off to the pub uh so uh, i'll do a little video of us eating some food i'm sure but in case i don't uh, i'm going to sign off now uh, so thank you everyone so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed our little walk in the rain around uh, this area of lincolnshire and uh, yeah do like and comment and subscribe as always and uh, i will see you in the next video where either will be my diesel heater video where we install my diesel heater what's going on with my hair uh, or uh, it will be uh, at Dovestone Reservoir, which is uh, a walk that's going on with Black Dog Hiking Group. That's not that's not the right thing, but I'm going to check that. <laughs> uh, and also Mountains of the Mind uh, charity. So I'm going to do a 10k walk with them around Dovestone Reservoir next Saturday. So yeah, it will either be that one or it will be my uh, diesel heater one. I'm not sure, depending on what happens first. But yes, thank you everyone for coming along and walking uh, in the wet with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.